Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And if you're wondering about the funky intro, it's because this is a video response to a subscriber of mine from Australia. His channel name is No BS Survival. And he wanted to know what my favorite folding knife was and also what my sharpest folding knife was. So come along with me and I'll show you my knife. My favorite folding knife is the Bear Grylls folding sheath knife. Not that Bear Grylls. This Bear Grylls. Now everyone's got an opinion about Bear Grylls and so do I. First of all, I don't like the way he runs around jumping here and there, that sort of thing. In a survival situation, you have to conserve your energy and you have to think safety first. You can't risk an injury by jumping over a stump or, or that sort of thing. All that kind of activity is just made for TV. Another thing I don't like about his TV show is that he promotes eating raw insects. Insects, just like other animals, can carry parasites. So it's important that you cook them thoroughly before you eat them, either over an open fire, on a hot rock, or in a survival soup. I prefer the soup method for three reasons. One, you preserve all of the nutrients in the food. Nothing is lost in the fire. Two, if you don't like the idea of eating insects, you can crush them down and then boil them up in the soup. It'll make it easier to eat. And three, you can sterilize your water at the same time as you're cooking your meal. And the third thing I don't like about Bear Grylls' show is that he promotes drinking your own urine bad idea. Urine is as salty as seawater and contains all the toxins that are filtered out of your blood. The stuff that you want to get rid of. The more dehydrated you are, the darker your urine. The darker your urine, the more toxins are in it. Never drink urine, just as you would never drink straight seawater. If you drink salt water, the salt will make you dehydrate faster and make you thirstier. What's that sound I hear? Diggery do music! Oh, that's right. This is a knife video, not a Bash Bear Grills video. Okay, as I was saying, my favorite knife is the Gerber Bear Grills folding sheath knife. When I bought this knife, it was incredibly sharp. When I was practicing opening it up using the thumb stud, which is new to me because I'd never had a knife with a, a thumb stud in it before, I accidentally touched those serrations with my thumb and it bled like a stuck pig. So anyway, it's incredibly sharp. Um, another thing I do like about it, the blade is nice and wide. So it's a hefty, it's a hefty blade. It's also quite thick. I don't know if you can really see it there, but it's a good thick blade and it's nice and wide that way. It's kind of more macho than a little thin uh, switchblade type knife. You got a light, buddy? Yeah, sure, kid. There you go. And your wallet. Nick, give him your wallet. What for? He's got a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. Just kids having fun. That's one of my favorite flicks. Another reason why I like this knife is that I can open it with one hand, which is important to me because I only have one hand. Another feature is the rubbery grip. Even in the pouring rain, 
I'll have a good grip on this rubbery handle. Another thing I like about it is the little bits of orange. I don't believe in carrying a camouflage knife because if you drop it in the, on the forest floor, it's gone. With this, at least you have a chance of finding it again. The first knife I ever had was a, a hunting knife. It was a sheath knife. And I was probably 14 years old at the time, and I was going out on a hike um, back in the woods here. And uh, anyway, at some point, it slipped out of the sheath. And gone forever. So anyway, I don't believe in carrying a really expensive knife, because if I'm going to lose it, I'd rather lose something that cost me, you know, 35 bucks. That's what this cost. It cost $35 Canadian at Walmart. I know it's like a Chinese knockoff or whatever. It's not built in America or anything like that, but it's good enough for me. It's good and sharp. The half serrated blade makes it easy to cut rope. It, that just breathes right through cordage. Another thing about this knife that I like is the sheath. The sheath has Velcro closure, has a little pocket in here that has the bear grills priorities of survival. The tips are pretty good, except for the part about water collecting. But we spoke about that earlier. Another thing I like about this sheath is on the back, you can either wear it horizontally on your belt, or you can wear it vertically on your belt. And the knife just slips right in there. It's a rather snug fit. So what I typically do is I carry this in my survival kit and then the knife fits in a lot nicer. As it turns out, my favorite knife is also my sharpest knife.